My name is Paul Warning. I'm a solutions architect with Furtech. Well, this project was a greenfield project in which we were asked to provide a world-class automation solution for uh, their industrial batch control requirements as well as provide a modern MES system for production tracking and uh, finished goods reporting. My name is Shami Shmani. I'm a VP of Engineering and Manufacturing for Arizona Beverages. We build a state-of-the-art manufacturing facility. It has six lines, and each line will produce over 10 million cases a year, and totality will produce over 60 million cases a year. The goal of the project was to provide an industrial uh, batch control solution based on ISA 88. Uh, that would allow us to produce their wide product uh, variety, as well as maximize the use of the batch process uh, control equipment that they've installed here at the facility. Vertec has been a great partner to Arizona. Since the start of the project, we were building this project as a centerpiece for best-in-class. Vertec provided us best-in-class software that integrated well within, within the whole manufacturing facility. So we've provided a solution that uh, grabs information across all five layers of the automation stack. And the Ignition platform along with the Saviusoft modules help us create a, a data-centric process and the data is just as valuable as the product themselves. Uh, the data will help Arizona increase efficiencies and identify areas to improve. With the help of our tech in the new plant, we will we'll be able to take some new processes that we developed in the new plan and bring it to the old plan and, and increase efficiency and reduce cost. My name is Alex Hunt. Um, I'm a quality manager for Arizona Beverages. Uh, for us here uh, to have real-time data is absolutely essential. We have limited storage space, so as soon as a product is made, it needs to be shipped to another facility. But before we make each product, we have to create a batch. So we're basically doing just-in-time batching. And that would not be possible without a system like this that can manage inventory and manage uh, packaging goods. Um, it's very important for us to be able to uh, integrate MES with SAP for two reasons. The first one is to uh, ensure that all the material that gets purchased and used to make a batch is accounted for in SAP. But the second one, from a quality point of view, is for traceability, to know what ingredients went into every batch. My name is Kim Stergakos. I'm the Chief Solutions Architect for Business Applications and Technology. One of the key features there that we implemented is the um, communications between the SAP and our ignition uh, landscape. And what happened there is we would be able to perform um, a detailed schedule within the MES and then transfer that detailed schedule along with all the um, required process and, uh, order information and bring it right into SAP with no intervention um, from either party. And that was a big uh, step for us. The other benefit, of course, is getting real-time information back from the MES on our production counts. So we get real-time inventory information, we get real-time change information in the system for detailed scheduling. A lot of benefit there for us. We're using Ignition here at the plant largely uh, because of the requirements of the customer. Uh, but we also, from an experience standpoint, we, we understand how flexible Ignition is. Now what's unique about this system is we have created an ISA 88 uh, inspired batch control system within Ignition. And we can see on Batch Station 2 we have a batch active. And if we take a look at this batch screen, we'll see a number of control elements. Uh, at the top, we have our batch selections. Now, batching is all derived from SAP work orders. So SAP uh, production orders come in through our MES layer. Our MES layer will generate some batch work orders using the Safisoft OEE 2.0 module. Here we can see packaging line one is currently operating. This is a MES work order from the Sabersoft OEE 2.0 module. We have some case label information that we control. And here we are controlling the transfer of product from the syrup tank over to the production line itself. Now this shift just started at 7 p.m. So it's been running for about 45 minutes. We can see our current performance and this is based on 15 minute intervals. Our production status is we're running. That means we are filling bottles or containers from the filler. 
we can see our current shift OEE scores, our filler production counts from the filler, where we're at within our production run, and we can see top five downtime. In this case, we've got 15 minutes uh, attributed to the filler right now. Downtime entry can be edited from this uh, screen right here. Within the mobile application, we have our summary of current work orders. We have sugar tank inventories that we can check. We also have syrup tank inventories that we can check to see what's been batched and what products um, are where within our system. And we can also check our production uh, packaging counts for OEE and downtime. And we can look at our current shift KPIs as well as previous shift and into yesterday and the last seven days. I do want to make a special acknowledgement to Jason Coop with Kanua Consulting. Jason Coop came in and helped us out with uh, leading that SAP and MES effort and his contributions uh, were critical to the successful integration of the business information with our production information. So overall, this was a, a great uh, project to not only showcase the functionality of Ignition and Safisoft, but we were able to showcase the talents within our, within our team. Uh, the demands of the customer were, were many. The challenges were, were nonstop. Uh, but with our team of internal people and our working relationship with Arizona Beverage, uh, I believe we were able to create a system that uh, not only met their expectations, but exceeds them in terms of performance, metrics, and overall usability.